Awkward situations. We've all had them. Let's find out how. So, we've all had those moments when anything can happen. An elevator ride to holding the door for someone who doesn't go in that door. Well, we're going to talk about that. So, you better watch and not go away. Because, I bet it's happened to you. So, the first one I'm going to read here, okay? My trusty laptop here. Alright, we'll go. Holding the door for a person too far away. <clears throat> Have you ever <clears throat> went to a door, you got there, and then there was someone you saw walking, and you thought you'd be nice and try to hold the door for them. But instead, they're taking about a year and a half to get to the door after you've opened it. That is probably one of the worst things ever, because I'll bet we've all done it. Because I know I have more than once, and it sucks. The second one on our list is elevator rides. Elevator rides are terrible, especially if you have to go to the top floor. And they're also going to the top floor. Just like, yeah. yeah. It's so awkward. You're just, you're just sitting in there. What are you supposed to say to him? I, I don't think you can really say anything to him without it being awkward. Like, really. It's, small talk is always awkward. It's, I, 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 think, I think small talk is pretty much always awkward. <clears throat> it's, just, it's just so weird. But, have you ever been in those moments when someone puts out their hand for a handshake, or you put out your hand, wanting a handshake, not a big deal, and that person comes in for a hug and it's like, well, what do you want to <laughs> do? It's one or the other, you can't do both. Next one on our list is accepting compliments from people. Sometimes you just feel that the person's either making fun of you, or well, you just don't really understand what they're complimenting you for. Yeah, that does actually really suck. Oh boy. Sometimes the compliments sound rude, but they really aren't. They, they mean it in a good yeah. way, but then it kind of, it doesn't sound the best, because that happens quite a bit. I mean, not quite a bit, but it happens. Every now and then. Every now and then. Um, the next one, the wave, like, you just go waves to someone out in public, and it's like, well, do you go subtle, like, hi, or do you go all out, like, how are you today? Do I keep waving or do I stop? The worst part is when you're waving to someone far away, and then someone else waves to me. <laughs> yeah, someone I've thinks... had that happen to me, like, a thousand times, right? It sucks. That's the worst thing ever. Oh, boy. The next one on our list are street surveys. Well, this is when someone just randomly comes up to you and starts asking you a bunch of questions for some survey. That's just a little weird, if you ask me. No one, want, no one likes surveys. Nah. <clears throat> so, the next one. This one, we probably all happen. Unless you're late a lot. I mean, which then isn't the best, but I, mean, I guess it's not the worst unless you're really, really late. Yeah. But, so... You, you you get invited to a party, okay? And you want to be like, okay, I don't want to be late, but I don't want to be extremely early. So, say the party's at 5, and you get ready at 4 o'clock to make sure you're all ready. And then you leave in time to make sure there's no trains. I mean, we live in Iowa, there's trains all over the place, and they go really slow, and we have to wait and wait and wait and keep waiting but anyways <clears throat> well I mean the most I've ever had to wait was about an hour that really really sucked for a train? for a train that, down in my Jesus. yeah that's the, that's the worst thing holy ever holy crap yeah uh, 
Where was I? Oh yeah. Okay. And then there's no, there's nothing blocking your way. You're only one on the road, and you are just flying the speed limit. And then you're there. And it's about 4:30. I mean, if you leave really early. If you don't leave really early, it's five o'clock maybe. You get there, but then, then you realize. If you get there at 4.30, then you're the first one there. And if you get there at 5 o'clock, you're on time, but there's only going to be, like, one or two people there. And that's the worst thing ever. It's like, why do you want to be here on time when you can be late? Because no one follows the rules anymore. Late is on time. Early is way too early. The thing hasn't even started. hasn't even been set up yet. Yeah. Next one on our list are hairstylists. Well, hairstylists, you should know they're the ones where you are known as hair barbers. Yeah, the the people who cut your hair and when you pay for. They make small talk, but you really don't want to talk to them, but you talk to them to be nice. And it's really awkward. It is really It's just like an elevator. Ex <laughs> worse, because you can't get rid of these people. That's true. <laughs> and if you, if you slip, holy crap. Oh. I can't have my hair messed up. I love my hair. I'm not going to lie. I don't care. He doesn't care. I guess. Don't ask me. Um. Yeah. New people. You remember meeting new people. Not a big deal. They tell you your name. You introduce yourself. Hi, this is... Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Brandon. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. And you part ways. A couple of weeks later, you see each other again. Not a big deal. Hi, I'm Brandon. Oh yeah, we've met. I'm like, oh, okay. And then you can't remember the name. Has that ever happened to you? Because I can tell you it's happened to me. Or just forgetting a name in general, like with someone you work with. You go to call their name because you need something, but then they just kind of... just forget their name. You just say, hey, come over here. <laughs> Yo, come here. Eh. So this you way. just start calling them, hey. Hey, you. you. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, hey, you. That work. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's one of the worst. I hate that so much. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is tell you some awkward situations we have had. I've had some pretty awkward situations oh, out boy. there. I, awkward situations all the time. First kisses. Those can get pretty sketchy someone's going in for a cheek kiss and you just kind of lean over and just like go full bore and it's like whoa what are you doing I'm like oh sorry I didn't know I had this one thing happen to me that involved an elevator well, oh boy yeah my dad is a person who will talk to some random person he would talk to a person who doesn't even speak English I mean he's weird so we're in this elevator up in Minneapolis. We were there for our family and stuff. And well, we happened to see this guy's shirt sets some electrician near where we live. And we were like, oh, hey, you know, where are you based out of? Well, it turns out his house is actually three miles from our house. What are the odds of finding? Yeah. It's, it's a small world. Yeah. It's, it, was, it was like, that was really weird. And then we've seen him like three more times, and then it just got even weirder and weirder. Yeah, that is weird. Um, one, some people, a lot of people do not mention, but it, I will almost, I will bet money that it has happened to every single person on the planet. You're looking at someone, and then all of a sudden they look over and they see you looking at them. It's like, oh, I hate that so awkward. much. Awkward. Awkward the, staring. The awkward oh my contact. gosh. It's so And then you weird. try to look away. Yeah, to and then make you it. can't because they're still staring at you and you're just like, ooh. Oh, what do I do? Hi. And then there's moments where you look away really quick, but they still notice it and then they start laughing. I've had that happen once or twice. That's weird. I'm not going to lie. Another really weird thing is. Well, it happened to me today. 
I was driving and I was pulling out of a parking lot and I was uh, I really had no idea what made me do this but I was looking both ways like a good boy you know I looked right or I looked left you know and there was nobody there and I looked right and I didn't see anybody there but I pulled out anyway not even checking the right fully and I turned out and or I turned around and I looked and I pulled out in front of a semi and like I thought I was gonna die <laughs> and I felt so bad because I had to turn within like two blocks it was so awkward the whole time driving I wanted to say sorry but I couldn't really because we were in vehicles but yeah I mean it was so bad and I was just I literally just had like a pure dumb mo moment yeah those driving moments oh, oh my gosh I was I literally just sat there shaking my head. I'm like, I can't believe I just did that. Don't you hate those? That was actually one of the first times I've ever pulled out in front of really? someone on accident. You, yeah. you feel so, so bad about it. And you can't do anything. I mean, unless you want to be really mean and make them stop so you can apologize. But then they'll probably be mad at you. I'll beat you up. <laughs> Which so you just, get knocked out. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll just end bad. It'll yeah. end badly. So, anyways... Tell us your awkward situations, and don't forget to like if you want, subscribe if you want. It helps us out. It, give us ideas. Whatever you want us to do, we'll do it. I mean, not whatever. We'll check it out. Maybe we'll yeah, do it. We'll decide. We, we need ideas, so give me an idea. Shoot us an idea. Just in the comments below, you know. Below. You know, you know how it works. So, like, subscribe, and this is all for this video. See you next time. Peace out.